If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, click that notification bell, and make sure to subscribe. It helps the channel grow and I really appreciate it. Hello to our 12 million viewers. So, sana madagdagan natin. Keep on tagging and mentioning your teammates. And I'm adding now her screen po natin ng ating speaker na si Ms. Joseph Medina, our executive from Seattle, Washington. Okay, so I love your color, Miss Josie. <laughs> Very vibrant and uh, shimmering, <laughs> shining. Okay, so hindi ko na po patatagalin pa. This is about your spe special sharing, Miss Josie, and I am personally excited. So I am giving you the floor to take it away. And it bless me po kami talaga this Monday. Josie. Uh, thank you, Bonds. A uh, good... Uh evening all the way from seattle washington and good morning philippines can you hear me right yeah <laughs> okay all right so anyway i'm excited to be here with you all i could see some of our business partners out there hello to everybody i could see leslie i could see angie and glenda and elizabeth hello Hello from Seattle. So anyway, uh, my topic today has something to do with building a, a business during uh, the COVID time, unprecedented time, challenging time. Okay. But let me give you a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm an executive with a, a Singular Global and based here in uh, seattle washington and uh, my husband and i we came to this country looking for the american dream okay we started working husband joined the u.s army and then uh, started working for the state of texas government paycheck to paycheck we looked for businesses we tried one an ori uh, oriental store it did not work and then when there was money saved, because I worked three jobs, uh, we tried to get into rental properties, real estate. It was doing very well at that time until the market crashed. So we practically lost everything twice. And uh, I was invited to look at this business. Thank God I decided to join. Okay, it's the best business I've ever seen. And uh, on this unprecedented time, okay, uh, how do we build the business? Uh, allow me to take you back to your, when you join the business, allow me to take you back to what your goals and dreams are. And the reason I'm sharing that with you is because uh, uh, during my journey uh, on this business, I tried to quit several times, several times. I could not count and uh, because i have very strong goals to make it happen i always go back to my goals so anyway there is a big difference between dreams and goals when you dream those are just thoughts our goals require action okay and the dreams are simply imaginary whereas our goals are based on reality all right our dreams are free, whereas our goals requires cost. And our dreams are forever. We can always dream, dream, dream. If we don't do anything, nothing happens, right? So we have to have deadlines in our goals. And then our dreams can inspire us, but then our goals can change our lives, okay? If we do something about it. And I'd like to share with you a book. I don't know. It's called uh, the, the Boys in the Boat. And uh, we were able to get it from the Leadership School uh, XLC. It's the latest. But uh, here's an example of, uh, you know, if we have some goals and if we need it bad, we can make it happen. But the story is, it's a story of nine uh, athletes from the University of Washington and these nine athletes, you know how rowing during the depression time, 1936, it was one of the best, one of the 
prestigious sports then that's rowing in the boat so anyway there were nine uh, athletes from university of washington and they were eager to do it and make it uh, there seemed to be no chance because uh, uh, the prestigious uh, yale university and harvard university they were the ones capturing practically all the glory and then besides uh, the place will be in berlin and that is during the time of hitler okay well they decided to go ahead and do it anyway uh and uh, on the same thing mr russ fletcher by the way has demonstrated there were a couple of those uh, boats and the team singular uh the directors uh, and uh, and the executives they did their team twice just to show you that it's teamwork that works so what happened on these boys are on the way there uh one of them got very sick so they lost the chance uh, really to participate but then they say uh, no matter what they're going to make it and they'd like to capture the gold the championship for that year uh, they got there and uh, through teamwork uh focus energy all right determination they were able to capture and beat uh, the world they were the champion of the world uh they were able to beat uh berlin you know or germany despite hitler being there and also the prestigious elites from harvard university as well as the uh, yale university so they give us this book okay read it and it's very inspiring and it goes back to team working and also goal setting if you have goals uh to make it happen we just have to work it out and it's gonna happen okay uh the other thing is uh, that i'd like to uh, mention is uh, learning from the problems as they arise nothing is perfect some things will go wrong and we just have to make the best out of it okay uh let me take you back to 2008 when there was a economic downturn there was crisis because the the banks the mortgage companies and the more uh, uh this um uh other industries the oil industry they were all down in 2008 and you know what our very own president and founder, Mr. Rudy Rebat, instead of him worrying about sales, instead of him worrying about unemployment, that so if there's uh, no employment, that means that there's no money that we can sell our products. Okay. And that kind of, what he did was he decided to buy some companies to help these people. Uh, because once upon a time, he was a distributor. And how would you feel, you and I? If from one day to the next our company will close, they said, "Okay, uh, we cannot afford to continue. We just have to close." So uh, from one day to the next, no food on the table. You know, education for the children is gone, right? And uh, it was the compassion, his compassion, that practically uh, uh, he, he went into saving several companies you know and uh, uh that is the kind of person mr rudy Rivat is and you know where he is now uh, uh yeah i you know how mr rudy Rivat is a silent uh, multi-billionaire multi multi-millionaires and or multi-billionaire i don't know but he has done very good and he continues to do good fast forward we have singular now 2020 it was even worse than 2008 because millions of people have died on this covid and continue to take the lives of people but the best thing that ever happened to us is the new way in doing business with technology we are now in a position to reach the world by just simply being at home through various social media programs and platforms in singular we have been very blessed at this challenging time because at the peak of COVID season in 2020 i'm proud to tell you to share with you that our company grew by 62 percent 
at a time when companies are closing, at a time when companies are no, no unemployment, okay, people were losing their jobs, all right, we grew by 62%, singular is, did. And in USA-wide, uh, it grew by only 16% and globally only 5.8%. The industry grew, but look at 5.8%, 16% US-wide, 62% singular-wide. You know why? Because we have needed products that everyone needs and a recession-proof marketing plan that provided jobs for people who have lost theirs. Many people have found Zingular as a home to, to their dreams and aspirations. What do we do? We need to identify the tools. With technology, COVID has given us a new way to do business. Okay. I'll share you the story with Mr. Rudrivak again as we go, we're going into the transition, uh, joining Singular. He invited us for a dinner here in Seattle with John, Joe, and I. And I asked him one question. Rudy, what made your company Singular develop a lot of multimillionaires in a very short period of time? And his answer was, uh, well, I don't know, Josie, I don't know that much, you know, how honest he is. He said he doesn't know that much about social media marketing. But he said he heard that there are some people where, you know, through social media, they, they hold meetings, they call people and, and, and show the program. Maybe they have one audience, maybe they have 10, maybe they have 100, maybe they have 500. And so she said, that's how uh singular has taken off so fast in a very short period of time well folks uh we have arrived i remember that even after the, 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 telling mr rudy Vag that i said i cannot do that rudy we have built a huge business you know through our old style of marketing and we'll continue to do so and so i said okay i don't have any problem with that and uh, and so what i did i uh, contracted a hotel close to ours every Saturday our leaders we get together we bring some people and then we socialize you know we have our uh, merienda we have uh, our, our uh, snacks our coffee and then we get into dinner and then we get into coffee by the time we get home it's midnight time if you look at the time right uh, and so on COVID has given us the opportunity to change our mindset. I said, well, here it is. You know, we cannot uh, 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 get together anymore. So what could we do? So looking back on what Mr. Woodrivak said, that, that, that's what we are doing now. And thank God to, uh, to you, Bonds, for all your training programs. Of course, the support from Beth and, and the entire company there in the Philippines with chat you know having the products approved and jim and all of you and leslie and all of you there uh, we're very fortunate to have you guys uh, uh, for your support and then also we are very fortunate for our leaders because if you look at um, uh, particularly uh, australia last uh, uh, Monday, I watch uh, uh, the replay, right? She has done a terrific job talking about social, different social media platforms. And, uh, uh, well, you know how we are on quarantine, but it's stuck at home. We have been spending a lot of our time online. We shop online. I know that because almost every day there's something coming in, ordered by Karina and John for the family. Businesses are doing social media marketing online. Foods are ordered online. So our Australia has done a terrific job on her FB Live last week covering various social platforms that you and I can take advantage of. FB Live like today, Messenger, YouTube, Twitter, Link. On top of this, we have some city meetings in place by our various resources speakers. 
We have star performers, Grace and Lorraine, Magnificat, Dr. Len and Julia. Achievers by Mel, Beth, and Dr. Rio. Okay. Uh, many more locally, like Dr. Lesaka, David De Los Santos, and Christina Giola, Gloria Benson, Elizabeth, Ellen Rose of Baguio, I hope I have not done, and, and a lot more. I have not missed anyone there, okay? Uh, and internationally as well, with uh, Pacific Northwest by Brian and Glenda, Angie Baldevino, Rod Dalmacio, Manny, John Medina, and me. We also have training programs, as I said, by Bonds, and we're very fortunate to have him to better understand every aspect of our business. Go ahead and don't miss Bonds training. Those are very, very important. All we need to do is tune in and bring people, invite people and guests. We do have a lot of videos by our CEO, Mr. Fletcher, co-founder, Mr. Walker, and CSO, Mr. Curtis Call. And uh, here in US, uh, we play those uh, videos on our all distributor training. So take advantage of, of, of these videos and also our Zoom meetings and everything, social media, right? To do your business, that's how we should do it because we cannot get out. So how can we continue to do our business? I thank God for this social media programs. Okay, uh, number four, empower the leaders. We need to create more leaders, not followers. Duplication is the key and finding people better than us. Uh, I think I was uh, uh, looking at uh, one top earner with, hundred, with 460 million in, in income. But this is lifetime, you know, uh, with business in 140 countries spanning the globe. Well, I tell you something. Uh, we are just 10 years old, and here comes Robin Packard with $8 million, $8 million right? Carly Stadel, $7 million, and several others within this range. So we have a lot already. So we are on track. There's no better company out there, no better marketing plan, no better products than Singular. Let us shine, number five, shine lead and succeed i was reminded again of mr curtis call was talking about our directors five percent of networkers all over the world and our silver directors represent three percent of networkers all over the world and when i look at it on singular uh 16 are this 16 percent are distributors and 84 percent users so if you look at that a director represents 0.48 that is one director for every 200 people wow now we know what the statistics is right and uh it's that silver director and uh, around uh two people for the 20, 20K, all this percentage. But anyway, focus and intensity, those are very important in our business, okay? Let us put on our blinders, no destruction, please. And uh, lastly, do not quit. You know why? If you look at Amazon Bezos, wow richest man in the world, Elon Musk, Tesla, Microsoft Gates, Starbucks, Showmart, Jollibee, McDonald's, Max, and Ruderivac are a founder and owner. They are here today because they did not quit. They did not give up when times were tough. Sometimes business is up, sometimes business is down. But it is our ability to go up when we are down that matters. I was sharing you earlier that I have quit a hundred times in this business. But I quit for the day and then come back the following day. You know why? 
I go back to my goals. I do have a very strong goals, and thank God this business has allowed me the ability to practically, number one, recover everything and everything of what we lost. Yes, the dream homes, dream cars, travel all over the world, education for the children. Uh, I love them all. And uh, thank God for this industry. So, uh, as long as our leaders and our members, we are all architects of our own lives. The future has never looked brighter as long as we are willing to work and we have the courage to persist. Thanks for the security that the singular opportunity offers. Now we can move with optimism, hope, and a promise of a better tomorrow for us, our families, our friends, and the next generation. Thank you, Mans. Back to you. Wow! <laughs> Thank you very much, Miss Josie. Tulad ng sinabi ko sa comment dito, what a powerful Monday sharing. Thank you so much, Miss Josie, for setting the mood, for inspiring us, for motivating us. So I'm seeing a lot of reactions. People are sending likes, hearts, and cares. Thank you very much again, Miss Josie. And Ayan, after this FB Live, it will be posted dito po sa ating Singular Fields Facebook account. And if you have been blessed, I'm sure you are, keep on sharing this to your messenger group chat or maybe PM sa lahat po ng mga gusto mo ring ma-inspire through this special sharing sa ating po Monday FB Live. So again, every Monday po ito, so next Monday, abangan nyo po another exciting guest ang makakasama natin for the first time. Nasa US din po siya. And she will be sharing about Facebook Live itself. So, abangan niyo po yan. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something, make sure to hit that like button. And don't leave without subscribing. Feel free to share this with your friends and family as well. And tag them in the comments below.